We are about to enter into Pluto's retrograde phase. Um, we actually have been in the pre-retrograde phase since January of 2022. So if you have been noticing some very intense feelings, um, and these would be feelings not so much of love and light, but the ones of the heavier, darker side of us, um, this, is, this is actually wonderful. Because this means that Pluto is working with you in this retrograde. What we're going to experience as Pluto enters into this retrograde is an even more deeper dive into the darkest parts of ourselves, the darkest parts of what enters into our lives. And there could be many reasons why folks would feel as if this is not a desirable part of their life or something that they would want to avoid. And basically, because we have been avoiding this, uh, Pluto is here to dig it up, expose it, have us look at it one more time, and to see exactly what can we resolve and get rid of. The nice thing about Pluto doing this with us is Pluto is a very slow planet. It doesn't ask us to do anything fast. Now, on one hand, that can be torturous because we're not going to move through this very quickly. We're going to have to have the courage and the strength to be formidable as we stand in the darkest part of ourselves and what has surrounded us. Uh, we're going to have to be strong and formidable to stand in the grief and the sorrows that have entered into our lives, to feel them once again with every cell of our body and every fiber of our heart. But Pluto will let us do this slow and easy um, because it's not going to have us look at just the surface stuff. This isn't the veneer of our spirits. This is the deep stuff, the stuff that we have hidden in closets, the stuff that we hope nobody would know, that we could forget, that we wouldn't want to have out and about looking at us every day. No. No, these are the things that we put back into the deepest parts of our subconscious and the deepest parts of our closet, hoping never ever to have to look at them um, as we leave this earth. But that's just not going to happen. Because Pluto uh, is part of our subconscious and our energetic being as the death and the rebirth. And Every time that Pluto has time with us, it chips away at these fears. It chips away what it doesn't want us to take back as we transcend and transmute and ascend and all of these other affirmations. It wants these left back. It wants them dropped. It wants it not to be a part of our spirit. So it just keeps chipping and chipping and chipping away. So this, in our life experiences, can feel as if these things keep resurfacing. It could feel as if we thought that we had settled all the accounts. We had gotten all the answers. We were totally resolved of whatever was going on. And then, boom, here it comes again. And a lot of times, if since January you've been experiencing this, you've been having these days where you say, my God, this is back again. Are you kidding me? Well, applaud yourself because, yes, it is back again and it makes us look at it again because we're not exactly seeing the deepest part. We're afraid to look at the deepest part, but that is the exact part that we need to unroot, to pull out, to let go of, to never spend time with again. And so here is this Pluto retrograde, and it is going to give us the time to reflect and re-experience these deep emotions. So this is why it's wonderful to have community that understands this is what we're going through and have community where we can share our experiences and not feel alone. Because to feel as if we are alone as we do this type of work is um, very hard and damaging on our hearts. And that's one of the reasons why I'm glad to be getting these videos out to you so that you can come and visit these at any time. Now, one of the things that this Pluto retrograde is going to do is it's going to have us look back. Um, so what, what we can do is a very, very uh, particular time would have been last October. So whatever was going on in our lives 
back in um, October of 2021 will give us a very good indication as to what exactly this retrograde is going to want us to get rid of, to purge, totally resolve, understand thoroughly, and make no kind of like wishy-washy decisions on this. Um, it wants a total death of whatever was going on in October 2021. Because from that death, it is going to rebirth what you really and I really am. So why not take a little bit of time, uh, think back over in October of 2021. It shouldn't be really hard. Uh, this event would have been somewhat um, big. It would have been something that really shook your world or really came back and sort of like slapped you upside the head again. Write this down because this is what we will be working with with this retrograde, which, by the way, lasts until October. <laughs> yeah, this isn't, a, this isn't a fast few weeks one. This is months and months. But we can do this. Um, we're up for it. We've been walking through these kinds of days for some time now with all the planetary alignments and all the assistance that we've been getting. So when we go back into this October of 2021, what, what we really want to be able to do is to look at this event, not with the emotions of being involved in it. Now we can turn around. Yes, you're going to feel the emotions. Yes, you're going to have all the thought processes that you had, but you are more than like a year away from this. So any kind of work that you did, any kind of transformation that you made, any kind of uh, steps that you took, are going to help you look at this event um, that is in your life to change you uh, in a lot dispassionate kind of way. When we can do this, we are able to look even deeper at this event. In other words, when this happened back in 2021 and our emotions were high around it, um, when we have high emotions, we don't necessarily see the deeper aspects of what the lessons are trying to teach us. We become very um, emotional. <laughs> you know, we experience all of the emotions having to do with aspects. And they ride at the surface in our, in our minds, not our hearts, but our minds go from one experience of emotional being to the other. And this is chaotic. So although we might have this wide view of what happened, we don't have a deep view of what happened. And without the deep view of what happened, we do not stand a good chance of putting it to death and rebirthing. Now, you know that I usually, when I'm talking with you, that I usually say, you know, let's just take all that stuff and kick it to the curb. Well, we got to go past the curb now. Now, all of the stuff that we had sitting on the curb, uh, there will be one or two aspects, maybe three or four, but certainly one or two aspects that really have caused us uh, emotional turmoil, a wounded heart, uh, a deflated spirit. And this is the one that we want to focus on. And we don't want to keep it on the curb now. Now what we're going to do is we are going to totally put it to death, destroy it, burn it. And then out of those, like sort of like how they talk about, like out of the ashes rises the phoenix. This is what this retrograde is going to ask us to do. And it's going to give us a lot of assistance doing this. So there's really no reason that we need to be concerned about how big this, um, this event or this emotional process has been because it's going to be slow. It's going to be one step at a time. Yes, we may pause and we, we're going to need to pause. We're going to need to rest. Um, but then after the rest, we just keep taking one step after one step after one step until gradually next year at this time, you will look back at this year and realize how much progress you have made, how much healing you have done, how much different you view your world and your own heart. When we um, have a chance to do exactly that, when we have a chance that we understand that if we are not peaceful in our hearts, if we are not peaceful in our spirits, then it doesn't really matter what the outside world is bringing to us because there is no peace. And above all, 
the one thing that the quantum is streaming is to have peace. And where that peace lies in everyone is not so much in the life that you have today, but what is referred to as your inner child. And with the inner child is all of the DNA and components and all the DNA codes that you came here with. Now, yes, they have gotten stomped on, they have gotten bruised, they have gotten terribly manipulated. But this is the time, this Pluto retrograde, to go and get that inner child Go and save that inner child. Go and heal that inner child. And have the inner child become the most powerful thing in your life. Because that is the part of you that understands all of this business that we've been through. All of these life experiences that we've been through. They're, they're not real. They're actually an illusion. They are something that has been sent into an energy frame so that you would have to interact with it and I would have to interact with it. And depending what our interactions were or are or will be is how we're going to return back into the universe. So right now, this Pluto retrograde is here to give us the, a huge amount of assistance um, to banish and totally get rid of whatever has been standing between the inner child, our reality, and what we are being bound up with, what we are being manipulated with, what we are being anchored with in the illusion. So with this, it's a good thing to start journaling each day until October. It doesn't have to be long, but just draw yourself a road map of the things that actually bind you, the, the thought processes you have, the fears that you have, the insecurities you have. Um, I know a lot of times I, I, I will wake up totally one way in the morning and as the day progresses, different things will enter into my day. Well, I started to write those down and what I found was a particular pattern of how I was moving through each day and then what I needed to release at night. And in doing this, it became a very powerful practice to understand that myself is calling certain energies to myself every single day. And when I was able to identify them by just simply writing down a word or two, but following the pattern, I was able to cut a lot of this out of my life and remove the roots of it from my chakra system and from my energetic being. Um, this makes for a much more powerful spirit. This makes a much more powerful uh, chakra system and energetic system so that intuitively and spiritually you can connect deeper into the quantum energies. You, you don't have to even consider where the alignment is. The alignment is always there with you. So as we move through this uh, first part of this retrograde, one of the things that is good to do, and let's just recap a little bit, is that you're going to go back to last October and you're going to journal on any type of event, a major event that caused uh, some type of change in your life or has brought change in your life. And, you know, good change, bad change, it doesn't matter. It brought change. We're going to name this. We're going to face it. We're going to reflect on it. We're going to stay in control of our emotions, set good boundaries. And then little by little, we're going to take one step after another until we totally reach our inner self, our inner child. And there is where we're going to rebirth what we have always been here to do. So I hope you stay with me as we go through this process. Um, obviously, we're talking about October, so that's a lot of time for you and I, but we'll get through it, and I'm looking forward to being here with you. If you have any questions, please do set them in the comments, and um, I'll be more than happy to chat with you in deeper uh, detail as we move through this retrograde.